Here we have 300 minus 158. So with column subtraction, we have to start with the units, but we have zero units and we need to subtract eight. So we need to exchange, but if we look along to our tens column, we don't have any tens which we can exchange for units. So we need to move all the way over to our hundreds. We can exchange 100 for 10 tens. So now we don't have three hundreds, we have two hundreds, and we have 10 tens. So now we can exchange one of our tens for 10 units. So now we don't have 10 tens, we have nine tens, and we have 10 units. So now we can subtract eight to leave us with two units. And now we can move on to our tens. So although we started with zero tens, we now have nine tens, so we can take away five. And that leaves us with four tens. Now on to hundreds, we have two hundreds, so if we take away one hundred, that leaves us with one hundred. So we have one hundred and forty-two. But we had to do a lot of crossing out here. So let me show you an easier method for exchanging across place values. So here exchanging from hundreds to units. So we start with units, we can exchange and then exchange again. So now rather than crossing out one digit at a time, we can cross out 30 and write one less than 30, so write 29 above it because we have two hundreds and nine tens. And now we have 10 units. So then we can do the same thing. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 142. So now pause the video and see if you can answer 400 minus 269 using column subtraction. So we start with the units. We need to exchange or regroup and then exchange again. So we can change 40. If we put a rectangle around 40, we can cross that out and change it to 39. And now we have 10 units. So we can do 10 subtract 9 is 1. Now we move along to our 10s. 9 minus 6 is 3. And on to our 100s, 3 minus 2 is 1. So our answer is 131.